Hello everyone. Uh, I came up with this idea of discussing the state of MCQ questions, uh, which I have given as an assessment for the practical ophthalmology series. So within the next five minutes, I will be discussing 10 MCQs with explanations. And I hope you all like this idea. So the first question is lens of the eye develops from, this is a straightforward question. Lens of the eye develops from surface ectoderm. Uh, usually lens and uh, anything related to epithelium and structures, they are developed from surface ectoderm. Anything related to blood vessel or muscles, corneal stroma, etc., they are developed from uh, mesoderm. Anything related to nerve, uh, like optic nerve, retina, they are developed from neural ectoderm. Second question is, which is false about ectopia lentis? So which is false? That means three options are true and one option is false, which we have to find out and that will be the answer. Option A, a subluxation is superior in Marfan syndrome. Yes, it is true. Marfan syndrome, uh, subluxation is superior temporal usually. Subluxation causes astigmatism. Yes, it is true. Because of lens tilt, there will be astigmatism. C, dislocation is seen in hypermature cataract. Yes, that is also true. Subluxation and dislocation are common complications of hypermature cataract. Option D, dislocation causes myopia. This is false. And this will be the answer because dislocation Usually, it causes hypermetropia. If it is posterior dislocation, then uh, it will be FAK, causing high hypermetropia. Even if it is anterior dislocation, it will cause hypermetropia. So, I'm the answer is D. Rosette cataract is seen due to, this is also a straightforward question. Answer will be trauma. In diabetes, snowflake cataract is seen. Copper foreign body due to copper, in bone copper metabolism. Uh, any uh, impairment, then there will be sunflower cataract. The type of laser used to treat posterior capsule opacification is, this is also a straightforward question, answer is NDR laser. That's why we usually write NDR laser capsulotomy. Other lasers like argon laser are used for uh, retinal uh, photoperiodations. False about complicated cataract, that means uh, in these options, we have to find out the false statement, three statement is true. False statement, option A, seen in UVA is, yes, it is true. Option B, posterior synechia is present, it is true. Option C, cataract is done after the entry chamber is quiet. Yes, un only after entry chamber is quiet with medications for minimum period of three months, cataract surgery is then done. Post-op steroids will be avoided. This is not true. And hence, this will be the answer because post-operatively, risk of inflammation is very high. That's why steroids are given and even sometimes preoperatively oral steroid are given to prevent the high post of inflammation. So answer is D. True about microspherophagia. True. That means one of the option is true, rest of the three are false. Lens is cone separate. This is false. Lens is spherical in shape. Risk of subluxation of lens. This is false because there will be dislocation of lens. Risk of angle closure glaucoma. Yes, it is true. And let's see the option D treated with pilocarpine to prevent pupillary block. This is wrong option because microspheric fecia, they that lead to inverse glaucoma that is uh, treated with atropine. So answer will be C, risk of angle closure glaucoma. Anterior lenticonus is seen in, this is a straightforward question. Answer is A for A, anterior lenticonus is seen in Alport syndrome. Posterior lenticonus is seen in Lowy's syndrome. Hypermature cataract leads to, yes, hypermature cataract, they lead to lens induced glaucoma, but which type of lens induced glaucoma? It will lead to secondary open angle glaucoma because of lens protein that come out from the capsule and causing the glaucoma. So the answer will be phacomytic glaucoma. Phacomorphic glaucoma is caused by intrusive lens. Onion ring appearance is seen in which of the following? This is also a straightforward question. This answer is posterior polar cataract, where a central posterior uh, block like structure is seen in the posterior capsule. Galactosemia, oil droplet reflex is seen. Which of the following systemic disease is not associated with ectopia lentis? Uh, that means three of the options are associated and one is not. So, what do we know? Option A, homocysteinuria, is yes, there is subluxation in inferior nasal direction. Marfan syndrome is there is subluxation in superior temporal direction. Erlers-Tandem syndrome also 
subluxation will occur but in myotonic dystrophy subluxation will not occur the answer will be b in myotonic dystrophy subluxation will not occur so so that's all and i hope you like this thank you very much